Welcome to the Excited Bull Book Talk. I'm Kim, and I'm coming to you from Norman, Oklahoma, where I live with my fiancé Jason, our three dogs, and a bunch of family. Thank you for joining me for this episode, and if you like this episode and you want to see more, like and subscribe down below. Talking about my progress on the goldfinch, because I am still not done. You guys... It's almost making me depressed on how little time I'm making to read my paper books. I have a bajillion. I need to make more time. <sighs> but I am getting pretty close. Obviously the front, obviously the back. So I'm, let's see where I am. I'm page 583 out of about 771. So I've got about 200 more pages to go. Hopefully I'll be able to make a little quicker progress on it. I, I am still enjoying it, but I will say I am not enjoying 20 something year old Theo. He's I think he reminds me too much of some guys I knew back in the day. Uh, a little whiny, a little petulant. And like, admittedly, Theo has all of the reasons in the world to kind of think life's not fair and, you know, mope about it. But at the same time, like, Jesus, dude. I could excuse a lot of his bad behavior in high school because he had had a lot of fucked up shit happen to him. Oh. I'll put spoilers a little back. Um, should have said that. Sorry. I will put spoilers up, so I shouldn't even be apologizing. Anyway. Uh, I'm at the point where Boris and Theo have reunited in New York. Theo has just discovered that the goldfinch painting he thought he has had locked away for years and has been terrified of it being discovered has actually been in Boris's possession for part of the time and been traded away and lost for another part of the time, which is kind of crazy. That was a big shock. <sighs> Boris, I enjoyed as a high school kid. And again, not enjoying very much as a 20 something year old. I don't know. I guess I want them to get their shit together a little better. I'm making no promises on when I will get this done. None. Hopefully soon. And we can do a full review of all of this book. I hope the end's good. The end. I hope the end is as beautiful as the beginning was. I can deal with this middle bit being a little less nice. Not enjoying it. Uh, I'm enjoying it overall. I should not finish with that. I'm enjoying the book overall. I still recommend it and I still recommend Down the Tart, especially her other book, which I've showed before. And of course I can't, I think it's right behind my chair. So, which is The Secret History by Down the Tart. Very good. That one I enjoyed all the way through pretty much. There was a bit of whining though in that too. I guess she doesn't mind her guys being a little whiny. Something I struggle with sometimes. I like a little more decisive characters. <laughs> Maybe it's why I like sci-fi and fantasy. Anyway, I'm rambling. Until next time, make some time to get a little story in your life. Bye. <laughs>